At this tournament means a lot. It's Kampala, it's on everybody's lips. We really want to surprise the world. And we're going out for it. We're heading towards the seventh tournament in Uganda, in Kampala. So Mission Kampala is uh, the whole strategies we've put in place, all actions being taken towards that, achieving that dream of qualifying for the World Cup in Kampala. So that's the total agenda of Mission Kampala. Some of us has named it uh, Mission Impossible Kampala as this will be Ghana's seventh first real international tournament um, and challenge as an as a international sevens team. And uh, what we're hoping is for the, the world to, to recognize Ghana as a sevens playing nation. The level of commitment is very high. We've been training for the past uh, four months, you know, uh, before Coach uh, Devante came in. We've been training with Coach Dallas. A lot of conditioning in it, actually. It's been very tough, but we've been working through it because we have something that basically we want to achieve in Kampala. Right now, we are in a better stage. To where we were about a month ago, to where we are now, I've seen a huge change. Uh, also, when Coach Ludwig came in on board, he specializes in sevens. So it actually helped us a lot in terms of progression in, in our sevens rugby. When first coming to the stadium, I was excited to see a bunch of young, enthusiastic rugby men just eager to learn. And uh, the experience since then, we have built a trust system between ourselves and the players. And the commitment has been great since we go. And uh, yes, it's been a, a really joyful experience thus far. Progress has been immense. Um, I've been so proud of the boys because the, uh, the individual commitment of coming back each day, doing double sessions of two to three hours of training each day, the loading on these players has been immense. But it's sure guts and determination that has brought them so far. Sonny, we're going to go, right? We're going to go down, we're going to sprawl on the back. What do we do when we tackle? We Roll out, so tackle, roll out, and then that's to cross the fence. So you need to go and tackle that guy as well. Right, and go! Every skill set that we are drilling into them, uh, every part of Sevens Rugby that we have teach them thus far, they have taken it and leveled up session after session. And uh, the progress has been so much that uh, we have actually advanced at a speed that I have never seen with a rugby team. You come in here. Right. Go. Go. The progression that has come personally for me, you realize as a player that your passing has become better, your ability to read the game of sevens has improved dramatically uh, with the training we've been doing over the last few months. So the progression as a squad as well, you, you, you feel that the gelling of the players, the coming together of the players, you feel like when you're playing in that team, you feel like your brothers, you, you, you have this kind of uh, charisma in the team that you feel the togetherness in the team. So we've really, we've really gelled together as players, playing for each other. Here, the guys, they have their hunger. These guys, they are, they are enthusiastic in, in everything they do. They, they give it 100%. Even if you tell them, to run like 10 k's in the morning, they will just go because they, they have the hunger to succeed in their rugby. So that, that's one thing that you would never get around the world. They, when they put their mind into something, they think of their background, basically, the way they want to go. So it's something that you would never get in any way in the world. Most of them only got their passport about three weeks ago. In most of them, they have never been out of them. This probably is going to be a life changer in their life. Most of them have ever been on a plane. They never thought they would go beyond West Africa. Yeah. <laughs> I really do have high hopes for these boys. We do not want to go into this tournament wanting to 
to chase down scores and, and losers. We really want to go there with our own individual goals that we've sent for ourselves. And we really want to focus on what is important for Ghana Sevens Rugby, not just playing for the respect of the nations, but also playing to be seen as a decent Sevens Rugby playing nation. If I told anybody one month ago, this is how you will look today, they will say I'm a crazy person. We are not going to Kampala with the thought of, let's try and lose with the less amount of total as possible. No, that's not what we're going to do. We've got our own goals, individual and as a team, and we're going to focus on playing sevens rugby. And I promise you, if you can tick all those boxes, we're gonna have very interesting scores during Kampala. This tournament means a lot to not only me, but the whole squad, the whole players. When we train and when we, when we chat, when we talk, when we walk around, it's, it's Kampala, everybody. It's, it's on everybody's lips. And then for me personally, it means a lot because excelling in Kampala means a big rugby career for every player in, in the squad. And it will bring more teams to look at Ghana as a rugby country. You know, many teams want to, what did Ghana do different? What, what, where, where did Ghana come from? You know, we really want to surprise the world. We really want to surprise people. So uh, we've been preparing actually towards that. So the tournament means a lot to us. It means, it means the whole world to us as a player. It means the whole world to us. And we're going out for it. Three, two, one, let's go!